Welcome to this video about using the PCA function in MATLAB. Before we get started, PCA, the PCA command in MATLAB is part of the statistics toolbox, so you need that particular toolbox as part of your license in order to use the commands that we're going to talk about in this video. The PCA command has a couple of different parts to it. Outputs. So the first of those outputs is the coefficients. The coefficients are the recipe for calculating any given principal component. Next is the score. The score is how each individual observation is composed of the principal components. After that comes the latency or the variance, which describes the spread around the mean of each principal component. And in this example, we're not gonna be talking about that. So I've just put a tilde in there instead of storing it to a variable. Then comes the t-squared statistic, which describes the statistical spread of the variables. And again, we're not going to be talking about that, so I've put a tilde in there. And then finally, the explained, the explanation of the principal components. So the contribution of each component to the variability in the data. So these are all the things that you can assign on the left-hand side of the um, function. So to do PCA, you simply type PCA of your variable. MATLAB expects the out input to the PCA function to have your variables across the top and your observations in the rows. So variables in the columns, observations in the rows. If you were doing something with gene expression, your variables might be the different genes that you're expressing and your observations might be the mice that you've done the genes on. If you were doing a time series data, you might have the time points in your variable and your variables and then your subjects, the different people in your observations. Depends on what you're doing, but the variables go across the top, the observations go down the rows. The first output of the PCA function is the coefficient matrix, which is a matrix that has the principal components in the columns and the variable coefficients in the rows. This will always be a square matrix because you have the same number of principal components as you have variable coefficients. And this is really the recipe for calculating a given principal component. So you can almost think of it like to make principal component one, you take variable one, multiply it by the value in A, plus variable two times the value in B and so on. It's a recipe. The second output is the score matrix. And the score matrix has the principal components along the top, across the columns, and then the observations in the rows. So the dimension here along the observations will be the same as the dimension here along the observations. And this describes each observation's principal components. So when you look at the uh, plot of the principal components, the score plot later on, this is what you're using to create the score plot. This describes where you plot a particular point in the principal component space. Finally, there's the explained variable. And this one is formatted differently. The principal components are the rows instead of the columns. And the column, there's a single column, and it's the percent explained. So this is how you create the scree plot, where you have the percent explained, or in some softwares, this is the eigenvalues. Uh, this is the eigen in some, um, some softwares, and you'll get this is where you create that plot that says, well, principal components one through three are important and any, everything after that is not important and so on. Whereas the score plot over here, or the, the score matrix is how you create the score plot where you have principal component one and principal component two if you're just looking at the first two principal components. And then you can plot each observation from the score matrix and you pr plot the principal components from the coefficients matrix. And if you want to do this one in MATLAB, you would use the biplot command. So there's a special com command for uh, doing this kind of graph, You the biplot command that you can look up. To do the score plot, you can just use the regular plot function and think about the various ones that you want. So explained, 
uh, from 1 to 10 if you want to look at the first 10 values there. So hopefully that helps you get started with PCA. You can check out the MATLAB help to kind of visualize how to do these different things, but hopefully this helps you see how MATLAB is expecting you to put things in and what you can expect to get out. I'll see you in the next video.